Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Glitty Gem. Thank you for watching. And I just wanted to ask, how's everybody doing today on this lovely weekend? It's Saturday. And of course I had to work, but it's okay because I was able to do this video for you today. I'm glad to do so. I'm so excited to do that. Hope everybody's all well, good in health. Um, I'm doing okay today. Um, for those who are wondering, you know, what eyeshadow look I'm wearing, it's just one that I created off this um, eyeshadow palette that I already had. Um, I actually wanted to go off to match my shirt when I'm wearing, as you can tell, my sleeves here have like a floral, it's like a navy blue sleeve with floral print on there. Let me get closer so you can see that. And then I have like this peachy tone on the shirt actually. So I wanted to go ahead and create a look to match my shirt that I'm wearing. And I actually created this look on my own. I'm so proud of myself since I'm going to do eyeshadow tutorials. And of course, I have to get together and get these shadows, these shadow looks down so that, you know, anybody who's interested in the shadow look, you be able, I'll be able to show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to show you the palette that I wore today that I'm wearing actually on my eyes. It's a Wet n Wild palette. I've had it for a while already. Um, so this is an old palette of mine, and I've actually used it on my on my eyes. So I'm going to get up closer. As you can tell, I am wearing like a I'm wearing on my lid and on my crease. I'm wearing like a peachy salvany color. And then as I go to the outer corner, you can see I have like a navy blue outer corner look. I think one is higher than the other. That's okay. And from my eyebrow bone, you can see like a like a turquoise green color. And then in my corner inner eye and the bottom lash line I went in with the yellow color I think I, I think I would I think I would describe this more as a min, minty green color <laughs> so let's open up this palette so I can show you what this is I actually like this palette I think I think this palette is good for like a beginner palette show you the shade the shade is a, it's in 737 poster child okay I'm gonna open this up and the reason why I say this is would be like a good beginner sh um, eyeshadow palette is because it actually tells you what color to use for what for instance um, it's imprinted this top row here says for the brow bone, so these two shades at the top is for the brow bone. These two middle, well, the next row of shades um, is for the, for the eyelid. The next bottom one is for the crease, these two shades. And then you have the definer color. Okay, so what a definer color is, it actually defines the eyes in your outer corner inner corner where you just want two colors to kind of like emphasize in a certain area in your eye so that's what a definer does okay so the definer that I used was this royal blue color and I used it for the outer corner of my eye and the lower lash line and for my lid and crease, I use this peachy salmon colored tone shade here. And then I went in for my eyebrow bone. I went in with this eyelid color. To me, it looked like a minty green color. And in the corner of my eyes, I used this yellow eyebrow, brow bone, sorry color in my inner corner of my eyes 
and the bottom lash line as well. I didn't think I have to wear mascara or eyeliner for this video um, concerning the fact that we're doing a Dee Dee's discount haul and um, the lipstick or lip gloss that I'm wearing today is this one here by Jasmine LaBelle It's a Lester Shine lip gloss. Okay. It comes in a pack of five. Actually, got, and this is the shade number four. It doesn't give you the color, it just tells you shade numbers. So, this is shade number four. There you see, shade number four. And I just picked the one that was closest to the eye scheme that I'm wearing. Okay, so now back to my channel. I am going to show you the bag for my haul here. Um, also, I wanted to mention that at the end of this video, there will be some bloopers. If you want to stay tuned for that, just keep watching my video all the way to the end. They're funny. Okay, so here we go. So here is a bag that I have here. It has sunglasses and lipstick. What else can a woman want? Dee Dee's discounts. What else can a girl want, right? Okay, so let's get started. So this is the Manica Dark Kit. And look at the beautiful colors that it has. Um, I see some neutral colors, some nude colors, and it comes with two brushes here. And um, if I get closer, you can actually see how much I paid for this. He paid $7.99, and it's a $15 value, so it's more than half the price. What I like about this is that it has three ways of wearing your shadow. It already, already gives you instructions on how to create these looks. On top of the looks I am going to show you as well. So I'm not going to be pushed to the side here. I'm going to learn how to do these eyeshadows and mix colors together and make them look artistic, okay? But it's very helpful for those who are beginners. You have a day look and an evening look, and then you have a smoky eye look. And I usually tend to go with a lot of the evening and smoky eye look. I used to do a lot of day looks, but to me they just seem so simple, so plain to me. But for those who love just that, you know, wonderful, um, you know, natural look. I think the day look would be best for you, for anybody who's working in an office. Um, I think that's a good eye look for, for them as well. Um, if you're working in a professional office setting, I, I believe that, that that would be a good eyeshadow look, eyeshadow look to wear. And this just kind of gives you a little bit about Manakadar, the buzz about Manakadar and just you know just a little bit about their brand so I'm excited for this palette I can't wait to use it it's gonna go well with um, these liquid lipsticks from Ross from the Ross haul video my previous video that I did this is the Manica Dar liquid lipsticks and as you can see they're gonna match they're gonna go very well with this eyeshadow palette You do see some peachy tones in here. Um, I also saw a Manica Dar kit today at Ross. I believe for the same price as this. Um, with peachy tones in there. So I'm thinking about getting it. And if I get it, I'll show you guys, okay? I'll show you. I'll link it down below. Letting you know that I got the palette. 
when I upload this video. Or I'll leave you a little box at the top letting you know I got the palette. And it's a peachy tone color palette. And I didn't get it because I feel like I have a lot of peach tone eyeshadows already as it is. But because it is Manica Dar, I wanted to go, I just wanted, I just wanted the collection, you know, to be together. But these are the colors here. You can see some peachy tones here. These, like I said, these are more like natural colors. These lip colors kind of look too bright for this palette. So I don't think I got a good deal. But since this one came out first, I grabbed it right away because I had the lippies, the, the liquid lipstick, the little mini liquid lipsticks. And I know that some of these shades I could probably wear with these colors like these red tone shades here I can probably wear with any eye look here I mean red you can't go wrong with red you can wear red with natural nude looks but I am thinking about getting that peachy tone kit if it's still there if it's not there well too bad so sad for me My next thing I wanted to show you, no particular order. I'm just gonna go in here and just grab anything. I decided to buy some more liquid lipsticks. I think these would go more with the Manicadar kit, I think. Right? What do you what do you guys think? Tell me down below which one would which one would these lipsticks match better on this palette here? That's a question I should ask for the day. What li what lipsticks would go well with this collection here with Manica Dar? I'm gonna be showing you some lipsticks today, and um, y'all let me know which one y'all think I should wear with this Manica Dar when I do my tutorial. Okay. So this one costed me six ninety nine. I have there's five shades in there. It's comparable, comparable value is $14. So I think that's a very good deal for that. And then you get um, one, two, three, five shades, like I said. Here, I'm gonna get closer. You can see this peachy tone, liquid lipstick, this, you know, undertone, peachy tone as well light peachy tone undertone liquid lipstick and then two nudes and a very fair shaded nude liquid lipstick and I love these colors they look so well and they're also by Jasmine LaBelle liquid lipsticks called lip fever in this one you have one matte lip gloss one cream lip gloss you have a metallic lip gloss, shine lip gloss, and another well, another shine lip gloss. So two shine lip glosses and two tones. One is in a more nude, fair complected nude shade here, more like in the um, bronzy lip color lip color shine this one i paid 6.99 as well and it's comparable to 14 dollars maybe this one would go with that kit as well it's a lips to go as you've seen i had another lips to go kit in my last video and this one is in the shade secret someone's got a secret by profusions it comes with the lip liner, the liquid lipstick, and it ha comes with the lip topper. We have our Metals eyeshadow palette here. It's upside down. Sorry. I got this for $6.99. Comparable to $14. Get that close so you can see. There you go. 
So y'all let me know what palettes. This could be a dupe for a palette that y'all know of. Maybe a Naked palette. The Urban Decay. We'll see. I'm going to do a dupes video as well on these eyeshadow colors. And this is the Metals by BYS Eyeshadow Cosmetics. I also have this Glam Fam brush that I like so much. On one of my videos, I had to use this large powder brush I mean I love the powder brush but I had to use it for some fallout on my face and I just I think a fan brush would have done a better I mean wouldn't have wouldn't have felt so bulky on my face when I was brushing the fall off I paid $3.99 and it's a $5 value we got another lipstick this one is uh, was on clearance, actually it was reduced. Um, items that are reduced are either, some of them are damaged, some of them uh, are, missing, uh, are missing pieces, and some of them are just, they're just going out of season. So, you know, so they can bring in their new products in, and they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to push out the, that season, that, that old season's products out so they re, so they reduce the price on them so it's not like they're they're used or worn or been touched or anything like that it's just um, that's just how they they that's how they do their um, you know price reductions on items they don't they don't just reduce them just to reduce them they reduce them for a reason and I don't think they keep any products that are that have been worn um, I think they throw those away they take them out of the system and they throw them away but this one is $2.99 so I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too afraid in going into a DD's and finding a product that's reduced as you can tell it's intact and it's in its um, container this is by Jackie and Lauren Cosmetics. It almost looks like the Lips to Go from Profusion. So it's kind of like a little copycat, isn't it? Copycat of that. Or it could be a cop, or the Profusions could be a copycat of this Jackie and Lauren Cosmetics. It has a holographic lip gloss here. And we have a lip liner and a matte liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade. I've been trying to look for the shade. But I've been like stalling by talking to you about the price reduction. I paid $2.99 and original price is $3. I'm not sure you were able to see that at the beginning. Okay, so uh, the shade in this one, I can't really see what the shade is. But um, I guess we can we can open it up once we get to the tutorial on this one. And I wonder if this one will, per will perform just as well just like the profusion lips to go ones or will they perform better or worse worse we'll see when we do the tutorial on this lipstick i got the mixed metals collection glam palette here yay but this is different this is a different um setup here and i noticed it's missing the brush and that's the reason why it's marked down so, so the, these are the reasons why they get marked down, not because they've been used, either it's missing a product, it's damaged, um, like, like on the um, eyeshadow that I had fixed with the alcohol. They reduced that palette for me. They gave me 5% off because it was just one shade that was broken. So in this case, it's missing a brush, so they reduced, they reduced it, what, about a dollar? Because it was... Um, I think regular price was $7.99, like the Ross, like the Ross Mixed Metal Profusion um, eyeshadows in that um, Ross haul video I uploaded. So it, it costed me $7, so they just took $0.99 cents just for the brush, but it comes with the lip, a lip liner. Instead of the eyeliner and a brush, this one is a lip liner. And instead of a primer, this is a, a lip topper, like a gloss. It's a metal matte lip cream, that's what it's called. 
and in the back it tells you on how to wear it wear the eyeshadow shades and how to wear your lipstick along with the ingredients so I'm gonna open this up it's called glam this one also has a shade that look that's broken but I am not gonna mess with that because it's not quite as broken as the one I fixed in my other tutorial so let me see and it's this shade here that's broken and it's just broken on the on the edge here but it's not a big deal because um, you can still see like it's quite intact there mostly intact so let's go over the colors on this one here okay so here are the colors we have gentle joy cookie ethereal tricky knockout serenity glam and interest these are some nice shades here i like them i love them a lot so we have one one just cookie gentle tricky knockout four matte shades and the rest are shimmers this is a joy ethereal interest and I believe Glam and Serenity are also shimmers or they could be like satin shades. We'll see when we do the swatches. But um, I am looking at my palette here you guys and you can see a lot of breakage around the edges. I might have to fix this with alcohol. <sighs> I just hope I'm I do a better job at it this time around. All right, well, moving on. Okay, um, we have another eyeshadow palette I thought was real interesting. Uh, this one is in the price of $4.99. Regular price is $10, so you're getting, so you're only paying half the price. Oops, sorry. Trying to get the camera to focus in on the prize. There it goes. There you, there you have it. And I picked up the shade. I picked up this palette because I love the shades, which I'm about to reveal right now. If I can get this open. <laughs> Here we go. Doesn't that look lovely? If you know what, if this could be a dupe palette for another palette, let me know, or I'll I'll look it up myself. I'll find it on, on the internet. It comes with a brush here. Um, this is not one of the brushes I normally would use for the fact that I don't like these uh, bristle brushes. They don't have like that um, consistency as what a like a hair or synthetic brush would have. These are too coarse for me, I think, to put on your eyeshadow, to put on on your eyes, and a little rough. Um, these don't have any color shape. Though it doesn't have any color names, but as you can see, they have beautiful shades in here, shades that I can play with. So I can't wait to be creative with this palette. Okay, so I actually got this kit for one of my coworker friends. Um, she's been wanting me to do a tutorial on how to do your eyebrows. Because I don't do my eyebrows. I didn't never mention that to you guys. I don't do my eyebrows. I don't fill them in with pencils or put wax on them. I just leave them the way they are. I think my eyebrows are thick enough as they are except for this eyebrow here it's kind of like thinner than this side but it doesn't bother me it's not a big deal to me but um, 
I will do some eyebrow tutorials and showing you how to fill these little uh, bald areas or making them look even. Um, and this is the kit that I got. What a lovely face, right? What a lovely face. Shape expression. And it's by Donna Lauren. Donna Lauren. I guess that's how you, you would pronounce it. Donna Lauren. New York. So let's open this baby up and see what's in store. What I'm going to have to do worth work with. Okay, so here are the instructions on how you have to, on how to apply it. And maybe some styles as well. What stencil you might need to use and what shade, yeah, it'll tell you all that here. It has a tweezer, eyebrow brush with the spoolie. I learned that this is called the spoolie not too long ago. Uh, this is an eyebrow highlighter that intrigued me to buy this um, this palette here which I forgot it had an eyebrow highlighter because I actually bought two more highlighters actually three highlighters but it's okay it's all right to have more than one highlighter um, as long as I don't use them I guess they would they shouldn't go bad um, I hope they don't go bad so and then this is the I think this is like a little serum that you would use it also has it's like a mascara type looking serum but I think it's for the brow instead of a wax I think they use this serum that you put over your, your brow I think that's a lot neater you know so you use these colors to put on your brow use the stencil you know and then you mark it with this eyebrow highlighter you mark it once you mark it then you use your colors here one two three colors you can build it up to this darker shade you know so you can have like a more you know for the ones that have more dark tones you might want to build it you might want to build it up with the these shades here all the way up to the darker shade and then once you put the powder on then you want to put the serum on top of the powder so that it can cohese and you've got brows right or is it you put this first so it can be like a glue and then you use you start using the colors and to the level of color you need on your brow so that's what we're going to be experimenting experimenting on because there's I really haven't seen too many eyebrow tutorials with powder, but those who have done eyebrows with powder, y'all can comment down below let me know what comes first. Is it the serum or the wax that comes first, then the powder, or is it the powder that you use first and then you put the concealer, not the concealer, the serum on just to keep it in place like a setting serum you know y'all let me know I really I really I would have to experiment with this if maybe I'll do one eye one way and then I'll do the other eye another way and we'll see how they turn out they might even turn out the same okay and this costed me um, <clears throat> $5.99 and it's $8 value so I think this, this is a, Donna Loren is really like a, I guess a well-known designer or makeup designer person. I don't know what you would call them. <laughs> Donna Loren. I know it's a, she's a designer maybe. I don't know. Or she's a brand. Donna Loren, is she a brand designer? Is she both? I don't know. I would have to do my, my research on that. Okay, moving along. Okay, so I got this here called BB cream. I, I heard a lot of hype about BB cream 
that it's really good to put on your face, you know, not having to wear foundation. And I thought it was something that I would be interested in because I don't wear foundation, but I would like to have some kind of moisture on my face with tint, you know, to do my makeup tutorials with instead of having to use the foundation. So I don't know how I feel about this yet, but it's a light to medium shade and it is by City Color Collection. BB cream. Paraben free, big letters. Paraben free with vitamin E. And I actually, I wasn't gonna get it, but I got it because it was reduced to $199, which is not bad for this BB cream. And it's intact, I mean, it doesn't look opened or doesn't look like it's you know I mean, it's sealed so I mean it looks like it's intact in this package so I got it I, I didn't think there was anything bad with this but we'll see when we try it um I'm trying to focus in on the price can't see that can't see 199 and I think it was 299 yeah you can't really see the $2.99, but it, it says $2.99 in small. I mean, in very light print. And, this is, and it they reduce it to $1.99. It's, um, it says uh, moisturizing, natural coverage, oil absorbing, paraben free, with vitamin E. So, and it's cruelty free. So, we'll see how this works on my face. If I think I could use this rather than using a foundation when I do my makeup tutorials. Let's see. So here's my Dope 2 palette. Let me show you the price first before I get into any details on this palette. It's $4.99 and it's a $7 value as you saw. So $4.99 for this palette. And the colors are beautiful. This is the one I had to fix in my um, Broken Hack makeup video on how to fix broken makeup. And look how beautiful the shades are. I had already showed, I had already showed y'all this in one, my previous video on uh, how to fix broken makeup. And this is the shade that was broken. And I still think it lost its color consistency when I fixed it. But it's fixed, but I really love the way that shade looks. But um, I'm not gonna fret. That's fine. But let me tell you something about this palette. I'm not sure if y'all know this, but. I paid $4.99 for this, and this is a, a dupe for the Manny Life's a Drag palette. Did y'all know that? I bet y'all didn't know that. And this is the Life's a Drag palette, uh, how the front cover looks for Manny's Life's a Drag. Put on my phone here. Let me see if I can if I can find one with the with the picture on the inside. It's a commerce is cost. $4.99 $4 compared to, if you can see this, oh, hold on, $50 plus shipping. Would you pay $50 for a palette? Y'all let me know down below. I guess for those who have the money to spend $50 on a palette like that, I don't know. To me, it's just, I can't afford that. So I think four nine. I'm gonna stick to the four ninety nine and still get the same effect. Cause look, this look at the the colors. It's exact same colors as my Dope Two palette. Exact same colors. Look. Let's compare them. You see, there goes that blue shade that I that I like so much. And actually, this looks kind of like the one that I have in my palette, which I think it would have been more brighter. I think they, they would have been the same color, but because um, I, I did see a video on it, and it would and in the video it did mention that the I mean I did see the swatch of both this uh, Lives of Drag palette and this Dope Two palette when I looked it up. I actually did my research on it, and there is a dupe. It is a dupe for this palette here. So look at that. If y'all can see from before. I know there's any light. Look. 
you see these two colors at the end, white and black, white and black. Then you got this peanut butter and reddish burgundy color. Same thing here, peanut butter, burgundy, burgundy red. And then you got this other two brown shades next, right next to each other, which is this next one here, two brown shades. And then you got this middle row here. And you got the yellow and the pink, and then you got the purple and the other red, and then the green, minty green. Minty green with that blue shade. It's all here. It's all here. I'm telling you, I got a good deal on this. I'm glad I grabbed it. It was the only palette that they had put out that day at Dee Dee's, and I just felt like, okay, I think. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get this palette because the reason for that is because in my Melrose haul I'm gonna do a Melrose haul I got the dope just the dope one it doesn't say it doesn't say dope one but it's dope palette so since I saw dope two I was like okay well I want to get both I want to see I want to have both um, both palettes you know you know wanna, you know want to see the, how the shades compare to each other you know on the on the first dope palette and this is the second dope palette I want to see how they compare with each other so that's that on this one $50 that's a lot of money oh no okay let's get into okay I have this okay I have, this is not anything to do with the face but with nail care um I haven't been really taking care of my nails but they're not, I mean, I keep them clean, of course. Um, I got this, I don't have, I have a top coat, base coat, well, the, the triple action. That's our tip, triple play. Uh, this is by LA Colors, it's a drugstore brand, and it's like $3 at the drugstore. And I paid actually $2.50, $2.49, so I paid like $0.50 cents less than what it would normally cost, which is, which is not too bad, I mean... I mean, I'd rather pay two fifty than three dollars. And this is this is what I use for my nails when I do my nail tutorials because it has a base. It is used as a base coat, a top coat, and a hardener. So instead of using two polish bottles, one for the base coat and one for the top coat after you put your nail color on, I'd rather just use one bottle and get it over with and that's you know that's it and if I don't want to use a, a shade like a nail polish shade I can just use it as a clear nail polish on, and it's a hardener so it hardens my nail and my nails are real weak and brittle but okay so the next thing I wanted to show you is um, BB I actually got this because I need a travel kit for whenever you know um, because it comes with these bottles, spray bottles, and it comes with these little containers. And I think these are like the perfect size to fit in your pocket if you ever need to use this for, let's just say you're having a headache and you want to take with you some Tylenol. You can use these little, these little containers if you don't have a pill bottle. Because I had, you know, I had some pill bottles, but, and they were like this like container you know where you have the screw the screw cap you know and stuff like that but I, I I lost them I don't know what happened to them and I had I had a row of I don't know like six or seven colors but I saw this and I thought about that I was like you know what I need me um I need me one of these containers just for any purpose this one as well these two as well um, any purpose it doesn't necessarily have to be for shampoos or conditioners you can use them for alcohol rubbing alcohol not drinking alcohol but rubbing alcohol you can use these spray bottles for that or you can use them for anything and I didn't know that this came with this I thought it was just it was just like this and this was just like the background of like I didn't know it was two bags it's actually two bags it's actually two bags <laughs> And I thought it was just one bag, and this was just like, 
I didn't get to see the zip. I didn't see the zipper. I just saw this here and I was like, ooh, I gotta have you this this one bag here. And I saw the price, like, it's a little pricey for this one bag. And I'm thinking, maybe because, you know, it's BB and it's like, um, I don't know, it just looks like a purse, but it's really a container. You know, it's really like a, a travel kit. So I thought it was like, and it looked, it looked like it had like this purse effect travel kit thing. And I'm like, okay, I'm thinking that's why it's, that's why it's expensive. It, it was $6.99. So I bought it even though I thought it was expensive. You can see the comparable value. Oh, it doesn't have a comparable value, but um, I'm pretty sure it's about the same as you would get it at any other store where they say where they where they sell BB products. And then when I got home or when I, you know, I looked at it and I was like. Oh, and it also comes with a spatula. It has a spatula, so I can probably use a spatula to fix my my mixed metals eyeshadow palette. I could probably use this for that, and I may and I can use this container, you know, to help me with um, the mixing and then putting it back in and doing the process of the of the broken makeup, how to do it and stuff. Anyway, so. I didn't realize I had the palette. I had spatulas. Okay, well, yeah. So I. It also has a funnel. That's weird. Oh, there it is. I didn't even know it had a funnel. I didn't even know it had a funnel or spatulas. That is awesome. Yes, BB. Thank you. I would pay six ninety nine for this. Not only that, I noticed that it is two bags. A cosmetic bag and a travel kit. Wow, what a good deal! I think I think this is my favorite item out of the whole Dee Dee's haul. This is my favorite, one of my favorite items. Thank you, BB. The next item here is one of those items, like I mentioned to you, that were discounted because the packaging is torn. It's this one here, and it's the only one I found, and it's. I actually got this because I wanted to, it has a, a brown mascara color and it has a black mascara color. I have so many black mascaras, I need a brown mascara. But uh, I wasn't gonna pay full price for for this because just to, just to get the brown mascara, I wasn't gonna pay full price. So I, I don't know if I waited to get it, maybe I could, I could have found it somewhere else Maybe I could have found somewhere else a brown mascara that would have been cheaper. And I actually don't see the price on this either. But I think this this one was like $1.99. So like a dollar for each for each for each mascara. And this is a pretty pretty big um, a pretty thick bottle. Pretty thick case. Mascara case. You know, for 99 cents each, I mean they don't even sell brown mascara at the 99 cent store. No, so I think this was a really good deal. I paid $1.99 for this. But, um, yeah, so moving on along. Okay, everybody, sorry for the position where I'm sitting now. Uh, the reason for this is because the camera, the battery on my camera went low and it was already marking red like it was going to shut off on me. So I immediately plugged it in so this is the only position i can i can uh, finish this video on okay so let's continue with my raw haul bag i'm almost done i'm trying to try to get through this quickly i know i've i, I was taking a long time doing this so here's the smoky palette by profusions this is another palette that i wanted to experiment on and fixing one of the broken shadows but this one is not as bad as the cookie shade in the other profusion palette the profusion palettes are not are well i can't say they're all bad or they, they break on their on their eyeshadows because the dope 2 palette is not a profusion palette and that had a broken shade in it so i can't really say profusion eyeshadows 
you know, break easily, you know, once they fall on the floor, you know, I can't just say that. So, sorry, perfusions, excuse me for saying that, um, uh, didn't know what I was talking about, so, um, I paid $3.99 for this, and it was a $10 comparable value, so that's what, more than half the price. And I love this palette so much because what intrigued me was this end of the of the palette. <clears throat> you see a light blue shade, and you normally don't see these shades in um, eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes. And I really liked it so much because it goes well with the rest of the rest of this end of the of the palette. Um, this is more of a cooler tone on this end and this end looks more like a warmer tone sorry for the lighting it's just it's just bad okay well I guess you can see the shades here now right they have some really nice um, cool shades here and then this is the this is what got me to get it because uh, this is so close to my L'Oreal infallible paint um, light blue eyeshadows that I get compliments on at work when I wear this shade color on my eyes they always compliment me with that so I got it for that because it looks like this but in a powdered form this side here is more of a warmer tones they have warmer tones here um, you see like a little lilac or lavender color here it looks to me it looks kind of like a brownish shade but it's, it's it's a lilac color sorry excuse me for the lighting but I gotta finish this this video it comes with a brush so um, that's that on this palette my first video beginning or the end of last year closer to the beginning of this year was on this matte palette by BYS and I love the way this performed on me I just didn't like the um, the brushes it came in with if y'all remembered I did a, a video it's called um, what is it called I called a nude eye look for beginners or something like that so you see these two brushes here I didn't use these brushes for that tutorial but it comes with two brushes, which is good and convenient if y'all want to use them. And we can always use them for something else, um, for another shadow. Because I actually used the, the sponge brush, the sponge brush, uh, sh uh, the sponge brush today to put on my makeup. I didn't use any um, hair, any any hair or synthetic brushes for my eyeshadow today which was uh you know took me back to the to the olden days when I had when they didn't have uh, brushes to to put your eyeshadow on but this has um a lot of nude colors this is a dupe for um I think the Urban Decay Naked Palette I'm gonna go ahead and do research on that. I'm not quite quite sure, so don't don't quote me on that yet. But um, there's a dupe for this palette, and I'm gonna find it, okay? And I'll I'll go ahead and um, when I do my dupes video, I'll include this palette in there along with the dupe um, eyeshadow. And I actually pay just. Um, the same price as the metals one which was $6.99 also you can get this in a dupe it's called the berries BYS eyeshadow palette Wow I didn't this is loose here I didn't even know this was coming loose look well the, the brushes it comes with these two brushes Sorry, I know the um, the lighting in here doesn't look so good, but this has a, these are sponge tips, sponge tip brushes, 
and then the other one just has that bristle bristles at the end that you can use for like uh, defining your eyeshadow um, I just find them to be kind of rushed well they feel soft but I don't feel like they'll give you like that cons like that consistency of you know pigmenting your eyeshadow maybe it'd be good blender or good um, concealer brush maybe I can use this for something like that maybe for some cream shadows or something I'm not sure um, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna buy cream shadows or baked powdered shadows but we'll see um, I didn't realize that this has a shade that's kind of jiggly here it's kind of like loose right here you see it's loose like see it's coming off but I'm not gonna mess with it but y'all saw it came loose and put it back in the palette um this reminds me of the modern renaissance palette it fell off see that's what i get for messing with it now i'm gonna hope it doesn't break where i'm gonna have to do another do another hack for it and fix the broken shadow it's only glued on with like that sticky glue um sticky tack glue that's what it's called like sticky tack glue it's, it's that's what it's that's what's holding this the, the the pan and the palette together is that sticky tack glue you know teachers use in school it reminds me of the modern renaissance palette $6.99 as well this one is a natural palette this is actually one that I haven't used yet and this one costed me $4.99 comparable to $10 so less than half the price it's called the Naturals, the Clean Color Natural Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I'm pretty sure there's a dupe for this one as well. It also comes with this nice brush, a uh, sponge brush at the end, and then the bristle brush. Look at the colors in this one. Um, natural. Okay. Now we got the Electro palette here. I'm pretty sure we can find a dupe for this as well. It's by C Color Eyeshadow Palette Electro. Now on this one, I did not get a discount, and I should have, but I didn't. I just didn't pay attention to um, the packaging on the inside. But let me show you the price, as you can see here. I paid $4.99 for it, which is not bad. I think that's what really took my attention away. I just saw the palette and I saw the shades. Do you see anything wrong with this palette? Do you see it? Do you see anything wrong? There's no brush. <laughs> and I could have gotten a discount for that if I would have if I would have just mentioned it to the manager and the manager would have given me a discount um, for not having the brush in there it's missing a brush like the brush fell out like I guess it just got loose somehow and then just the brushes fell out the brushes or brush and I think it's like I think the brush was kind of like, oh I seen the brush online and the brush is a dual brush dual sided dual ended brush with the um, synthetic bristles at the end I think maybe somebody took it out of this palette to go with one of their uh, to go with another eyeshadow palette that they might have gotten and didn't have a brush so they took the one in this in this pack so it's missing a piece and I should have gotten a discount and I did it and I didn't realize that until when I got home I looked at it because I, I wanted I wanted to look at how this blue shade looked like because it kind of reminded me of the Riviera blue um, I think it was Mediterranean color in the Riviera palette don't quote me on that but um, once we do a review on this or um, eyeshadow tutorial, I'll let you know what color I was, what I was mentioned, what I thought this this looked like in the in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. Okay, so this is another nice eyeshadow palette with nice colors. Pretty sure I can find a dupe for this one. 
and I only paid $4.99. Now, um, I'm going to go into these reduced price items as well at these discounts. Uh, this one was um, reduced to $149. And there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, I think it's just um, going out of season. The style is going out of season because the eyeliner is still there. The mascara is still there. And look, look at the look at the brush. It has that rounded tip there, and I like and I got it for that purpose because I wanted an eye a mascara that had that rounded tip because it works real works works well for your bottom bottom lash bottom lashes. Whenever you put mascara at your bottom lashes, this rounded tip bristles brush works really well for your bottom lashes so that's a tip for anybody who wants a really good nice because um, sometimes on the regular mascaras they don't um, they don't really do a good job of color on your bottom lash line um, if you do sometimes you get right you get some right underneath you get some on your skin under your eye and this one this round one is supposed to prevent prevent that from happening so that's the reason why I got this palette and 149 I mean you can't beat that price you know 149 you can't also and then so then uh, I figured okay that's too many mascaras already but I mean look at this this is 99 cents and it, and it's and it has two mascaras they both do two different two different purposes but 99 cents for this because it's missing it was missing the eyeliner the liquid eyeliner was missing that and so these two were the only ones left and it went down to 99 cents from 4.99 to 99 cents you can't beat that you can't get you can't go at the 99 cents store and buy two mascaras for the price of 99 cents um one is a volumizing mascara and one is a is a waterproof mascara so which one do y'all think is the volumizing mascara I think this one is and I think this one is the waterproof mascara and then they had the liquid eyeliner but we'll see when we get to the um, when we get to the tutorial on this mascara or when I start to use it if it's volumizing because volumizing the bristles tend to be a little thicker and bigger and on the waterproof mascara, the bristles are just regular. You know what? Let's just open it up and show you guys which one's which. Okay, so let's start off with one I think it's volumizing. Y'all comment down below right now. Let me know which one you think is volumizing. The diamond studded one or the plain stick one? Plain. I don't know. Yeah, plain the plain one y'all let me know down below which one you think is the more which one's the volumizing and whoever gets it right gets to win a prize I'm just saying sorry sorry for saying that I don't want to get just hopes up I just I just wanted to um I don't know make it fun <laughs> but one of these days when I get big and I have more viewers I will start doing giveaways okay so keep that in mind y'all start watching my videos y'all need to watch my videos so y'all can stay so that I can get funded and then with all these views then I'll be able to do giveaways okay so keep that in mind so let's see how this one I got the camera a little closer um, because I wanted y'all to see how this one looks opening it's up. Look at the bristles on this one. This is spread out and thick, which I I already knew this would have been the volumizing one. Look at that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And let's look at the other one here. I bet you the bristles are thin. I bet you it's like a thinner bristle application on this one watch just watch I know my mascaras okay I know how they look told 
soju. It's bitter. I don't know. Don't look like too much of a big difference, huh? When I was pulling it out, it looked thinner. Well, yeah, it does look thinner, I think. Yeah, this is thinner. I can see it on camera now. It's thinner than the other one. Let's open the other one up. Let's open it up. I don't want to mix these. I just hope I don't mix them, put them in the wrong applicator. <laughs> Are they the same? Y'all tell me. Are they the same? Oh my goodness. They're the same brush mascara applic they're the same bristles. But why is one volumizing? No, 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 no. This has a, a longer tip, a sharper tip. You can see that. See? And this one has a more shorter. There's no point at the end of this one. So this is the volumizing, right? Well, it's an order in the package. That's how I see it too, in the order of the package. You know, where this was like this, this was like this, and in the package in the back, it tells you says volumizing waterproof and eyeliner so it's in the order of the package so like I said this is the volumizing and this is waterproof and duh glitzy gem on the pa on the actual mascara it tells you what it is this one says waterproof so I know this is the waterproof one can you see that right here this waterproof oh you guys I am duh. come on, on Glitzy what's wrong Glitzy I think I just had a, a long evening on this haul and I'm trying I'm gonna have to edit this video you know to the shortest possible because my last video I did not realize was like almost an hour long I did not realize that until I um, when I started doing the editing and whenever I uploaded it to my YouTube channel I saw that it was close to an hour long and I'm like okay that's too long of a video for a haul but you know on my in my defense um, we did have a lot of stuff to to show I mean there was a lot more stuff in the Ross haul than in this Dee Dee's haul there was a lot more stuff. Okay, so last but not least, yay, we're getting here to the last part. I made it into a little gift set. Guys, once, I, once my channel starts to get big, I'm going to start doing giveaways. Yes. Once I say it, I'm going to do it. So, just keep that in mind, okay? So, in this one, we have the Cherry Moya collection. Okay, cherry moya. So let's look at the palette first. It has a lot of peachy tones. Has some shimmer shades. Uh, you see some like berry berry tones. It looks more like in the warm, the warm section of the spectrum on colors. Um, I don't see any. Maybe I can see maybe a few cool colors in here, but mostly uh, natural, warm, peachy, nude colors in this palette uh, with some shimmer shades. And to go good with this, I found, first I seen this one here, this Cherry Moya Lips Don't Lie. Let me tell you how much I paid for this first. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. This one I paid uh, $4.99 and it was the $10 value. So, yeah, see, so half the price. $4.99 for this, come on, 
You can't beat that. This is also $4.99. Tells you right there. And this is also $10. Lipstick and eyeshadow. This eyeshadow palette with several colors. The 12, 25 shades for $10. And I paid $4.99. And this is just a little Lip Stone Line four piece kit liquid lipstick. Is it that good? We'll see when we do the, the tutorial. This has a lot of uh, nude shades in them. Like they have this pinky nude shade. This one is um, like a brown nude shade in the warm tone. This is a cool brown tone shade here. And this is more like a mauve nude shade. And yes, I this does go well with this palette. These colors do go well with this palette. And then I think like the following day, or I no, I think was it that same day? Yeah, it was that same day that I saw this one as well. It's called the Cherry Moya Cherry Moya Sweet Talk. And it's called Berry Nudes. And I know this palette has a lot of berry tones in it too as well. Just the lighting is not as good here. So there's some berry tones here that I'm seeing like some here and if and not only would this go this berry set would go good with the cherry moya collection it would also go good with the berry eyeshadow palette the one that I'm going to find a dupe for the one that I said was for like Beverly Hills Anastasia Beverly Hills berry palette um, so but it comes with two other berry shades uh, in the liquid lipstick form and then they have the actual lipstick shade two lipstick shades and they're kind of similar in color when they do these packaging when they put the liquid lipsticks together with next to the lipsticks because I think what they're this is just my idea don't quote me on this I don't know if this is true or not but um, they I think they pair two liquid lipsticks that matched with their their closest colored lipsticks in their collection so that you can put the lipstick on and then you can use the liquid lipstick to go on top or you can just wear them by themselves maybe that's just a perfect you can wear them by themselves but these just are in the lipstick form and this is in the liquid lipstick one here so I don't know maybe you can try both maybe in the tutorial I might try both trying it on just with the lipstick and then trying them separately first and then trying them paired up together and even vice versa this color with this color or this in this color with this color it's just I mean look, look at this nude it's like a really peanut buttery colored nude It, and this one's like a light nude as well, almost like a peanut butter shade liquid lipstick as well. But it's a little, it has a more um, rosy tone, undertone than this one. This one does look like a peanut buttery nude shade here. Oh, the lighting's bad. I'm sorry for that. My camera. I might have to upgrade my equipment here, my video equipment, because... I charged this I charged this battery yesterday overnight and I just did um, like not even an hour's worth of stuff an hour's worth of um, recording and I have to charge it again so I'm sorry you guys I'm speaking kind of low and tired and sleepy because that's because it's that's how late it is well it's not really late but yeah I need, to, I need to have my dinner and I need to go to sleep already. Alright, but I had to do this video, video for you guys. Um, I didn't want to miss a beat. So, I want to keep, you know, constant with these videos. You know, especially when I was feeling sick, I couldn't upload any videos. And there's some videos that I wanted to upload that I hadn't 
done any research on like the, t the testicular cancer awareness this is the month the first week of april was the was the the week for testicular cancer but i read when i did my research on testicular cancer to see what color ribbons they are and it's a royal blue uh, ribbon um i read that it's the first week of april but they're trying to extend it you know to where it's aware throughout the whole month so i think i still have time we're still in um in april so maybe i might be able to do the testicular cancer awareness this this month it's just um um i gotta get through with these haul videos and um what other videos i know i said i had i wanted to do karaoke day but that that i can always do that a different day i don't have to do it in april i could do it in a different month i want to do that eyebrow uh for my co-worker friend my eyebrow tutorial um what else did i have the fashion day that i can also wait for another another day it doesn't have to be for the month of april which kind of defeats the purpose because i really wanted to do it for um like fashion day for the multiple sclerosis which was the orange the orange color um also we just did the the stroke awareness which was the one with the red you know the red color i wanted to do like uh you know put on a nice outfit you know with the colors to represent the the awareness day i'm gonna have to stock up on some wardrobes then right yeah um i don't know that's something i need to think about maybe i can just probably do like a, com a compilation of maybe in one year a fashion day for a compilation of one year of awareness maybe that i can do that maybe a one year compilation of awareness fashion you know hey sky's the limit with your ideas here comment down below if you have any ideas for doing fashion day for the awareness months um thank you guys for watching and um would like for y'all to start commenting any ideas for me um i would like for us to start talking uh communicating uh in this community in this community just communicating and seeing how you feel about certain things i know everybody's busy and they have a life which i understand you know completely um it'll get there it's gonna get there it will i hope it will i have a dream and my dream is to continue doing these videos to know my community to get closer to you guys and communicate and um, start commenting giving me thumbs ups um, giving me um, constructive criticism you know I don't mind that I love constructive criticism I can handle I can take it I got thick skin I am 39 years old so I'm past my prime already so I can handle it I can take it I've been through worse so come on you guys let's get this community going okay and share with your friends share with your family um, help help a girl out hey everybody so thank you for watching my channel this is the conclusion of my haul my DD's discount haul and I'll see you next time for the Melrose haul all right and um keep watching get me viewers subscribers and we'll have giveaways in the future once i start to get funding i need to start getting funding for my channel so move my word along okay um like my channels that helps a lot too um and that concludes my dd's discount haul So I wanted to, hello, can't you see me?
Why are you blurry? Focus now. Okay. Focus. Oh, what is this? back to my video as I was saying um, oh so I have a surprise which it's not a surprise Okay, so back to the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit back now. <laughs> okay. Um, Set. I thought it was so beautiful with the colors that they have here. Um, it all, it's almost like these um, these new shades. I've been, I don't know, I'm just so in love with nudes. Um, even though I love dramatic colors like the, the ice kite color scheme that I'm wearing. Oh, I can't even speak. And what I like about this is in the back, this is a good kit for beginners as well because in the back, It'll give you instructions, you know, on how to do these looks. They have a day look, they have an evening look, and this middle one would it look good with. Um, in this one, you would you have two, five shades as well. You have one matte lipstick, one cream lip, lipstick. Sorry, they're lip gloss. The next one I wanted to show you. Ooh, my favorite my favorites. I actually got this. It's also from the Smoky Eye Collection. The, the mix of no, the Smoky Eye Collection. What am I talking about here? So let's go over the colors on this one here. Okay. I'm going to stand up here. Just don't want you to get the glare from the camera. Oh. You can see everything in this mirror. This mirror is big. I love that. Okay, this color is Cookie. This color is AOL. No, it's called Joy. I'm sorry, I'm reading it upside down. Joy. So let's go in with the uh, how many mattes and how many shimmers. We have one, two, three, four mattes. My face was not showing whenever I was looking at the palette here. And this side will tell you, well, well actually it has a tweezer, it has the brush, eyebrow book, oh, la, 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 la. can't even speak. Tutorial by Manny on his uh, lunar, what is it called? Let me look it up. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Manny Lunar Palette. Something went wrong. Okay, Google. Show me Manny's 
lunar palette. That's what it's called, lunar, right? Something went wrong. Oh. I, I'm sorry. Let me let me go on my YouTube, my YouTube channel. Oh, that's what it was. I had my Wi-Fi on. Whenever I turn on my data, I have to turn off my Wi-Fi. So let me see if it'll work now. Okay, Google. Manny lunar palette and voila uh, here we go it's pulling up it's pulling up right now this is what I'm lives a drag Manny's lives a drag palette So, okay, so this concludes my video on the makeup tutorial. Makeup tutorial? Makeup tutorial? This is not a makeup tutorial.